The reactors in Units 1 to 3 of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant were severely damaged when their cooling system shut down after a tsunami struck the plant in 2011. As a result, the fuel rods inside melted and fell to the bottom of the reactor. Removal of this melted fuel is a crucial part of the plant's decommissioning and a key requirement is to locate the debris inside the reactor. So far, many attempts have been made to understand conditions inside the reactor, but the radiation level is too high for human beings to go inside. To address the issue, TEPCO will use a technology that employs muon cosmic ray particles to capture an image of the reactor's interior. Muons are subatomic particles that can penetrate most objects easily, but are blocked by heavy substances like concrete and uranium. It is believed that these particles can be used to see inside the reactor, much like an X-ray. A muon detection device was set up next to the Unit 1 reactor to test the technology for the first time. The device converts muons into electric signals for collection as image data after passing through the reactors. An analysis of the findings is scheduled to be completed by the end of March. We are planning a second test at Unit 2 in the near future using another method of muon technology and we will continue to collaborate with domestic and international experts to determine what is happening inside the reactor core. After the tsunami, when the Fukushima power plant m melted down, when the cores of the nuclear reactors got too hot, it's certain that the reactor cores melted and the material moved around. By using muons going through the cores, we can make a radiograph of, of the uranium material and find out how much is left inside the pressure vessel, how much is leaked out of the pressure vessel, and then the Japanese can use that information to plan a more effective course for the eventual cleanup of the reactors. Muons are like heavy electrons. Um, because they don't have a nuclear interaction, they, make, they come through the atmosphere. These muons are charged, so when they go through matter, um, they, they get pushed around by the charges on the atomic nuclei in the matter. When it encounters a uranium atom, the charge is very big, so it scatters a lot. And so the way muon radiography works is we measure that change of angle of these muons, and we use that to infer how much material the muons have gone through. If this technology can help in part to, to, to solve these problems and, and, uh, and perhaps help get the nuclear industry started back up in Japan, that's really gratifying. Thank <music> you.